A troubled funeral home is shut down tonight because of decaying bodies, bad smells, and an expired license. And tonight, our 13 Investigates team looks closer at the problems inside Tipton's Porter Funeral Home. We've actually learned state police removed four unrefrigerated bodies. One had been there for three weeks. During an inspection, officials described a pungent and intolerable smell. The state also found the funeral director's license had expired. But that funeral director, Kevin Porter, actually took his own life just hours after state police searched that funeral home. Senior investigator Bob Siegel is in Tipton tonight, and he just learned what the next steps are for families. The shocking investigation that took place inside this funeral home has triggered a flurry of activity across central Indiana, with the goal being to make sure the bodies that were not properly cared for here are now getting the care they deserve. The door is locked, the lights are out, and the parking lot's empty at Porter Funeral Home, where state police and the Tipton County Coroner removed four bodies yesterday. Some that had been sitting inside for up to three weeks with no death certificates and without being cremated. 13 Investigates has learned those bodies are now being properly stored in refrigerated coolers at the Hamilton County Coroner's Office. And now the focus is on helping their families. I've been able to contact all the families and make them aware of the situation. Tipton County Coroner Brad Nichols says other funeral homes here in Tipton have been busy all day meeting with families of the deceased to try to make things right. I was able to let the families know that the funeral homes here in town would complete the service, uh, get the death certificate completed, and the cremation to occur and be able to get the loved one's cremains back to the families at no cost. There are a total of at least eight bodies still waiting to be cremated. Four more are being held right now up in Huntington. The coroner says he hopes all of the death certificates will be filed and all the cremations completed by some time next week. In the meantime, families of the deceased are beside themselves with anger and frustration. I'm having a hard time grieving as it is. And then when I got the news of this, it's like I, I'm like I let my dad down. That, you know, we didn't get to protect him like he's always protected us. I talked with some stunned family members this afternoon. They say their father and others were simply left to rot. I want you to hear their story. That's coming up tonight at 6. In Tipton, Bob Siegel, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Bob, thank you. Now, the Attorney General's office has asked for an emergency hearing to suspend the licenses of Porter and his funeral home. Yeah, the AG says they pose an immediate danger to the public. Of course, we don't know how Porter's death will impact that process.